Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to go over how to add fields to a form and how to place and drag and drop them and order the fields on a form necessary to your needs and how you would like them to look. So right now we are on the account form in Dynamics 365 and we're looking at the Alpine Ski House um, summary tab right here. So as you can see we have our list of fields, our timeline, um, we do have a couple added in fields here that don't come out of the box um, that we've used on previous demonstrations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add specific fields um, like this as an example to fit your business's processes and needs and what data you would like to capture. So the first thing that we would like to do is go to the back end of the system. So we will go to our advanced settings. and we are going to go to a solution and we have one for Prentice works. So we are going to open this up and we are going to go to our account. So we'll come over here to account and click on forms. And what I want to do and make sure I do correctly is choose the main form for account. Um, and if you have multiple forms, that's okay. You just need to make sure you go to the specific form that you would like to edit. So we're going to the main account form. We'll just open this up bigger. So as you can tell here, we are looking at the account form just on the back end of the system. So this is my summary tab that we were just looking at. So we have, you know, those fields up here, all the fields that we have, everything is the same. Obviously, it just looks a little bit different because this is where we edit. Um, the form. So a quick way to do this and to add fields and to add them to this form is to come right here into the bottom right hand corner and click new field. Now if you've already added fields or you want you want to use any of the out of the box fields, there's a list of all the fields um, right here. So once again, if you've already created some um, in the system and you haven't used them or placed them anywhere or you were unsure how to do it, they should show up right here and you can filter this down to you know all the fields including out of the box and custom or just the custom fields um, to make things a little bit easier for you so um, you could select one of those and just drag and drop it just like this or if you would like to add a new field you can do that right here and it'll pull up this window and I'll just maximize this and let's just say you know we want to capture their birthday right so we're going to make it birthday. You could make this optional, um, rec recommended or required, whichever you prefer. And um, we're going to go into the date and time field. And all we want to do is capture the date only. So we're going to change the behavior to date only. And so we are going to save and close. So now that this field has been created, in order to refresh this list right here of fields, we just need to click this really quick and let it just pull up. And for some reason, this is just how it refreshes. So once it pulls up, I can just exit out of it. And now the birthday field will appear right here in my list, as you can see. So if I wanna add this, all I do is simply click, drag and drop this anywhere. And you'll notice that red line is gonna show me where it's gonna end up if I release my click. So if I want it right above the parent account, I can just release it right there. If I you know, don't want it down there, or if I want it down here, I can just drag it right there to the bottom. So now we have our birthday. And if I just exited out of this, nothing would actually change on the front end of the system. So what I wanna make sure I do is first save it. That way, if I have lots of edits and I need to come back tomorrow, it'll save on the back end. Um, but if I only save it, it's not going to publish it to the front end. What I need to do now is once it's done saving is I need to click publish. And this is what will finalize it and push it to the front end of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and publish our customizations. So now that that is done, I'm going to save and close and I can exit out of this as well. 
and I'm going to go back to my browser of Dynamics 365 and I'm going to refresh. This should allow all of the customizations to now be pushed forward and for the system to catch up to whatever edits or configuration um, things that I added. So now that I have my account pulled up on the account form, I come down here and now I can see that I have birthday. So I can click in here, I can do everything, you know, record the date of, you know, birthday, whatever it is that's going to make sense, you guys can add in um, those fields in whichever way will make you know, most sense to you guys. If you have any questions on this, um, or would like further details, leave any questions or comments below and we will try to answer those as soon as we can. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.